Oh, standing by. Give me a clap. Wow. Oh, I need a clap. Clap, clap. Can't believe you're up next. <laughs> You're up next. Clap. It's live. <laughs> Zach Moore. Is up next. Abilene is up next. Yeah. Zach Moore show on a gym MMA. I'm here with Chauncey. Yeah, 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 Chauncey yeah. Nusola. No, yeah. Nusolia. 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 I never had to say it out loud. We just call him Chauncey. Yeah, <laughs> the owner of 10th Planet North Dallas. Yes, sir. Uh, he's in town for this weekend's 10th Planet uh, Texas No Gi Training Camp Summit. Uh, I, I think I covered all the various ways that I've heard that name. Uh, but he, what, what did you go over this morning with us at 8 a.m. on a bright and early on a Saturday? Bright and early Saturday morning. Wake yeah. up before college football gets started. We get it on the mats. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's my favorite activity and my favorite time of the day is jiu jitsu. So I'm excited about that, man. But um, we went over some three quarter guard, man. Pressure passing, getting past the guard, getting past the knees, pinning. Dominant position, twister side control. I feel like twister side control is like really underutilized. Like a lot of people don't really focus on it, and there's so many options from there. And Eddie Bravo just he paved the way for us. So we did some three-quarter guard passing, twister side, and options from there. Going to mount and some submission options, man. And then uh, after that, we went over sneak knee bar. And I'm only just say sneak knee bar. You should have been here to know the details. Sneak knee bar. That's all you need to know. You know? It was, it was really good, and it reminded me too uh, what you're just saying. Is I feel like Eddie at his tech plan in North Dallas went over some other options off of off of the uh, Twister side, right? Yeah, that's correct, man. Like I had Eddie Bravo out to my school. I want to say it was in July, June 15th. June 15th. Yeah, Thank you, powerful, because yeah. you were down there. Yeah, my God, was down right there. around my birthday. That's right. So. Um, I'm just kind of going off that game. The three-quarter guard pass I've been doing for a while now. I learned that from one of my first black belts, Sean Bollinger. And then just adding in that twister side control, just when Eddie came down in June, just like sharpening it up, a lot of deep, a lot of options off of that. So, yeah. And then on top of that too, it's uh, we, what we were, what that leads into. Is what do, what do you feel like your game is, and what are your strengths as a jiu-jitsu player? Because some of the stuff we went over today was stuff you're really comfortable with, right? Right, right. That's like my top. That's like my A game, my top stuff. I like to work on. Um, just really pressure passing. Um, I was just been, and it's like funny. Like I know this because other people have told me, right? And then, and yeah. I've seen it work in succession. It's just passing the guard. Like I'm six three, about two fifteen on a good day, right? Um, I'm just gonna get past your guard. I'm gonna get past your guard. I'm gonna get the uh, dominant position. I'm gonna get on top. I'm gonna take your back. So these are techniques that I use to get past the guard. Um, pressure passing, I would say, is my game. And, and um, sneaky submissions. I like pulling submissions out of out of anywhere. Wherever you don't see them coming, your back pocket, your left pocket, that little front pocket you got, the fifth Levi pocket, we pull them from all pockets. So just getting my submissions wherever I can. Taking what the defense gives me. It is interesting uh, the way that what you said too about um, what people tell you. They end up, a lot of times pe people let you know with comments whether they mean to or don't mean to right. what really is like what in your game really makes them uncomfortable. Right, right, right. So you get the feedback from the training partners. That's why you got to be on the mat every day. You got to be in front of your training partners because if you're not in front of your training partners, you're not growing. You're not getting that feedback. You're not trying these new moves. You don't know if it worked. There might be a new wrinkle to a submission that you used to use five years ago, but if you stopped training five years ago, you ain't going nowhere. And, and speaking of training partners right now, you just, you just, uh, you just, uh, your one of your belts, Tony. Uh, one, one of your one of your students, Tony, just got promoted to blue belt. And right now, you've got a school full of a lot of uh, mostly because you're in this beginning stages, right? Mostly white and blue belt killers that are coming in every day, putting the work in on the mat. And then now you're starting to get some other guys too, some guys I roll with that have been in the game for a long time. Here, Tenth Planet's around and are coming through and really making that team stronger as well. Right. And what out of your out of your young students, like you see the white belt, the blue belts. Out of these young guys, who do you, you know, if they keep continuing on this path, who are we going to hear about? Oh man, yeah, I got some some guys, some thoroughbreds coming out of the stable, man. And a lot of these guys have like already had jujitsu background and been training and been on the mats. And then they were just excited that 10th Planet came in Dallas that I, we were there for to come for us to come together. So I got these, a lot of these guys have like this experience already and they're just coming to me and we're just polishing it up. We're just slapping the sticker on it, calling it 10th Planet. Like, Look for Jeff Walke, uh, he's yeah. a blue belt man, this guy's a savage, this guy he puts it down, He's he kind of embodies my philosophy of submissions are everywhere, catch the submission that's given to you, um, I got another guy JC, man this guy's a savage, we just did a team quintet tournament and these two guys they had like seven submissions between the two of them. And you won that tournament right? We did, our white belt team and our blue belt team they both ran through, it was four teams. 
And uh, yeah, we only lost one time. We only lost one round. Who, who else was? I mean, who else was in that? We had uh, Jeff Walkie, then we had JC Tony, who just got promoted. He was in that. He got in a couple the submissions. Yeah, 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 he was at, in the, on the white belt team. We had um, who else? We had we had Richard. We had Tanner, another guy. Remember, when Tanner got promoted. You were there when Tanner yeah. got promoted. Tanner was there. Um, who else? We had we had Micah, another one of my guys. He's down in town for the training camp right now. So. Yeah, we had a lot of guys that just put in a lot of work four or five days a week. And when, and when did you open your gym? We opened July... 2018. July 2018, yep, July 1, 2018. So to be winning a contest tournament is a pretty big deal. It's crazy. Yeah. Against these gyms who've been open for 20 plus years. Like, the gym we competed in, Star Jiu Jitsu, they've been there it's 20 years. That guy, he, uh, Yusuf, he's a black belt. He fought against Jeff Munson at ABCC. So it's like, this guy is OG. And, like, and he gave us like he gave us a good compliment. We were talking about earlier, people tell you he, he comes in, he has a heavy accent, he comes in, he's like, baby, you weren't supposed to beat my ass, baby. <laughs> like, man, you know what it is. We got to do what we got to do, Jeff. You know? So shout out to Yusuf and Star Jiu-Jitsu. And I, you, you kind of you know 10 Planet people all over because you're originally a Cali guy. What was your, what was your yeah. school out in Cali for everyone? Who doesn't know? So I, when I started, I started at Temp, the original Temp Planet Riverside, not to be confused, the original Temp Planet Riverside, it was above a rock climbing gym, uh, like Hangar 18 is what it was called. I feel like all all the Temp Planet started out somewhere. <laughs> it's like, that's, yeah, that's yeah, how Yeah, Curtis is telling me about the old school days yep. at uh, Bomb, that Squad. Bomb, Squad, Bomb Squad, and there was uh, there was a place where nice young women on bachelorette parties could learn how to pull this. No kidding, yeah, that's yeah, hilarious. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. yeah we'll sure. play some mats down here and pick the poles up. And so you were there when at the top, you were above a rock climbing gym. We were above a rock climbing gym. I was learning under my first instructor, Sean Bollinger, and he's one of Eddie Bravo's first three black belts. This guy, he like. He's put so much into the system. The double bagger, that's from him. The Bollinger neck times. The Bollinger break that we learned. Bollinger break that, that we learned. Yeah, yeah. Uh, special game. All these kind of things. That's all. That's all from Sean Beasy. Shout out to Sean Bollinger. Um, and he ran out with Jeremy Fields. Shout out to Jeremy Fields too. Jay Jitsu, he puts it down. So Riverside ended up morphing and becoming Ten Planet Corona. So okay. that's in the IE. If you're familiar with Kawhi Leonard, shout out. <laughs> that we're in the IE out there. Um, and Ten Planet Corona. And uh, so yeah, I just been training at Ten Planet Corona. Uh, I started at Ten Planet Riverside, went to Ten Planet Corona in the IE in Southern California, and then uh, eventually I got the wild hair to move out here to the great state of Texas. <laughs> and then. Um out of all those guys, too, who are the who are some of the purple and brown belts out there that you feel like that people don't know about yet that are, that are going to make a name for themselves? Oh man, there's killers, especially out there in Cali. Like so many killers, and like I said, that gym we started in uh, Temple and Riverside that that was in 2007. So like it's just been growing and growing since then. Like you got uh, one of Eddie just gave him his brown belt maybe a couple months ago. Kyle Delbridge, we call him Viking. That guy's a savage man. Um, there's a lot of like uh, gym guys that put it down. Jesus, he's in Ten Planet Corona. You got Adam Tapia Twister, that's my guy down there. Trace Midnight Gray, he's a savage, like all these guys. And one of my young hitters, like he started in the garage with me, his name's Gabe Goliath. Watch out for him. Gabe puts it down too, man. He's an anti box specialist. Blue Bell, heavy dude, puts it down. Yeah. And so, what do you think it is uh, that you're doing at Ten Planet North Dallas with making your team accelerate so quickly? Um, working the system. Doing what we're told, coming in, training every day, hard roles, like yeah. not BS and not coming in and talking like, yeah, we want to talk and you know it's good to see your training partners, but we gotta remember while we're there, like the majority of our time spent there should be moving and not our lips, right? We should be moving on the mat. Um, just bringing that kind of attitude, like bringing the traditional like football attitude, yeah. right? Grind those attitude, getting better every day. Um, and then just ultimately just being nice to people, man, you know what I mean? With all this shit going on in the world, just smile, hug someone, a, a properly placed hug and change someone's life, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, put it on them. Yeah, we were, we were kind of, we were talking about that, um, I think on the Globe Talk podcast. Right, when podcast, we were on. our host. Right. Yeah, yeah, and, and um, just what you what you pointed out to me too is that the, the football attitude. Right. I mean, you, we were talking a lot about the system, but then what what I think that I think Curtis brings it as well. I know I bring it to when I come, but hearing you say that reminded me that not everybody understands that attitude of that grinding. You know, you know what a double session is like. You know what lifting is like. You know what all those you know what it takes to just and you know and you have a history of showing up every day and being willing to put in like a lot of effort and i think that the football background you have and that attitude and how you see it 
how you perceive that football attitude probably has that heavy influence on people really getting after it. Right, right. And then you know what? I also I can't I can't discredit like my family training because my I come from a military background. My mom and dad yeah. met in the Navy, so it was like. It was like Saturday mornings, if you weren't up at your activity, football, baseball practice, you were cleaning. We was sweeping the stairway, vacuuming. Man, straight up, no no joke, real story. My pops had me out there after football practice one day, pushing his his friend's old, like, 1967 Cadillac. He put it in neutral in the middle of the street. He's like, let's go. I'm like, pops, I already did football practice. Like, I don't care. How old were you? I was like 16. <laughs> all right, all right, I just want to check. I'm making sure 16's okay with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, 69. I was at nine. I was like 16. But nine, 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 nine might have been an issue. <laughs> <laughs> nine might have been like, oh man, you okay? We need to talk after this. I might need a hug. Uh, yeah, yeah. That would have been a nicey time hug for you. <laughs> no, nah, we was. I was in high school, so it was. Um, yeah, man. It was just like a testament to my pops. Like no days off either. He like after, he got after it too, right? So we just always getting after it, just bringing it, and just like hard rolls, like no days off. For sure. When did you start training? Uh, 2009. And then how old were you? Uh, 21. Yeah. Was this was this you were look, looking for an itch, like some competitive, just you know, just yeah. competitive itch? Yeah, that's what it was, man. Like uh, I had gotten injured, so I was working construction, and then I got injured, so I was like, wasn't doing any traditional sports training, yeah. wasn't working. And I was like, like, man, I need something. I just feel lazy. And this was like, you know, 2009 is around like the recession and everything. Yeah. So everybody's just like long face wherever you go. Everyone's sad. You know, what I mean? <laughs> it's like you need something to pump you up. And I'm like, all right, you know, I always like. Like a big Wu Tang fan, always into karate flicks and karate movies and stuff like that. So then I was like, all right, man, what's up with this jujitsu? Let's give it a shot. And first day one, I never looked back ever since then. I got arm barred and that's been it. Yeah, yeah. Once you once you have that first experience of realizing you really don't know what you're doing, it's yeah. Get to position. Man, it's so it's so it's so um exciting but scary at the same time you're like oh man i can do this to someone then you stop and think like i've been walking around here 21 years and somebody yeah. can dismantle me like this and yeah. nobody will know no noise scary and it'll happen it'll happen like it can happen in less than, it's going to happen in less than a minute if you don't know how to train and you're going up against someone who's been training for x amount of years i mean for six months right uh i mean we had someone here who said someone came at them at a bar and he took his back so quickly it was just like it was like it was like, it was like Fighting a baby. Wow. Yeah. That makes sense. And right? you know how it is when a dude walks in first day, you know, I mean, you see him roll with one of your white belts who's been doing it six months, and he probably taps him three times in five minutes. Yeah. Seriously. And the gas is him out. He's just over there looking like a lot of time with yeah. uh, those newer people coming in, it's just like the warm up movements. Like it's movements they're not used to, crawling around on the ground, moving in, in certain ways that they're not accustomed to. And they're just looking at me like, ah, I'm like, all right, guys, that's the warm up. Get some water, then we'll get into it. They're like, that's the warm up? I'm like, yeah, that's the warm up. Yeah. Wake your body up. Yeah, they don't they don't know. And then um, I, I think also on that football mentality of uh, the, being able to grind someone out to you know, the mat. Like it's not just about grinding in here, it's about putting your head under their chin, turning them to, you know, yeah. You know, turning their spine, putting their that that's one thing we learned a lot from Curtis here, and I, and I saw you do today as well. So I, I'm sure we've learned it from you as well. Because I, I, if you don't know, Chauncey was a coach here at Kent Planet Austin for yes. for like two and a half years. Two and a half years, yeah. And so that was where he got his reps in as a coach. Right, right. Coaching here, is, uh, seven a.m. class, zombie class, like. And coaching here is such a blessing because I'll be coaching here, and the next thing you know, Tom, Carlos Condit walks in, yeah. Cowboy Cerrone walks in, Tim Kennedy walks in. You're just like, oh, all right, man. Or you'll get some killers from all over the world, Australia, Europe, Japan, like mild manner, don't say much, no, no big flair, no, no entourage, but they come on the mat, and then you're like drilling with this guy. And you're like, oh, you want to roll? And the next thing you know, you're like, oh my God, this guy's a world leader right here. He's a savage. So that's the awesome being able to coach people that are willing to get up here every morning, grind it out, and then the level of talent that comes through here is just amazing. Yeah, I mean, you never know here, like who, like if the guy is, if it's the first time you see him, you right. you don't know if it's his first class or if it's especially at an open mat. You're like, I haven't seen this guy. Does he come to the morning classes or whatever? But you're always getting people in here that have been doing it a long time. You get good rounds and you get good reps and you get, you know, you get a, that competitive itch aspect too. Right, right. I mean, every day here can be a competition. Oh man, I, I don't doubt that. I mean, that's how it was when I was here teaching too. That's I could you just see it. These guys come in, they put the work in. Every rep matters. Every round matters. Like every round, guys are going for it. So and that's how it should be too. Like. 
don't get confused. Like, you know, if you're taking rounds off or you're getting these like training wheel rounds, you know, you go bowling, they put the bumper up, you get one of those bumper rounds. Like, that's gonna be good so far, man. You gotta really, it should be like, sometimes you look at them like, man, you mad at me or something? I owe you some money or something? That was a tough roll. Like, nah, that was a good roll. Like, that's what you want because we're training for black belts. We're not training for the day one people. We're not training for the knuckleheads at the bar. We're training for a certified killer. So that's how you should approach it every time. And I mean, it, it was those reps in the gym that probably and, and here too that made you so prepared to start your own school and then and really take off. I mean, it, it's been taking off at such a rapid, rapid rate. Yeah, we're excited. A lot of growth. I feel like we're going to have a lot of growth here in Tech Planet, Texas over the next few years. With I mean, it's just we got guys coming out of here. We got now we have we have North Dallas, we have San Antonio, we have Austin. We have New Caney, we have Beaumont, um, we have a 10th ten, ten Planet affiliate in, um, in Ground Dwellers. Ground Dwellers. Ground Dwellers right. affiliate. So that's like six 10th Planet kind of, you know, schools. Right. All that are going to be churning out dudes and all with people like with your attitude, with Curtis's attitude. Yeah. Which gonna, and then with your adherence to the system and then your own beliefs built off of it and then you're blowing off. Because I was talking to somebody yesterday about their systems and you take our 10th planet system and then you create your own little systems off of that. Like like that sneaky knee bar that you had. Made. Now we got you got a flow from your school that is unique to your school maybe. That, that not everyone else is really teaching putting reps in. And I feel like what what's exciting about this time in 10th planet is for those of you who don't know, 10th Planet has about over over 120 schools. And in Texas, there's a major opportunity here. We've talked about it before. I mean, it's the whole I-35 corridor out to Houston. Oh, and I forgot about the two schools out in El Paso. Oh, yeah. Uh, El Paso. Yeah. And then we also have uh, West, El West El Paso. Chewy just talked about it. He's, he's opening. So it's west or east? I believe it's west. Yeah. yeah. West. Right, right? Which, which, which one was your first? Yeah. Yeah. What, which one was your first instinct on the web? Is it West or East? I think it's West. West? All right, West. I think it's West. Um, and then, um, you know, we've got, in, in, in California, we've got like 30 schools. I mean, you throw, pick up a rock, you can throw it and hit a 10 plan. So literally, that's how it is. Like, it's getting down to the point where guys are like, all right, I'm here. Like, mind your borders. Like, you know what I mean? You can't come in here. Like, San Diego, all my corners. Oceans, yeah, yeah, Oceanside, Vista, uh, uh, Corona, Riverside, Marietta. Uh, Ventura, Burbank, um, Gabe was Nines. talking about four in 45 minutes. All four of those schools in that 10th Planet San Diego family. That's so powerful, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, so eventually you're going to have your, you know. We got to do it right here. We got Austin four, already. We can hit Round Rock. We got Dallas already. We need a Fort Worth. You know what I'm saying? We need a McKinney. We need them everywhere. Houston. We need one in Katy. Like, let's just blow this thing up. Yeah, well, we got to get all those football players and the former football players. The former football players. And the people who aren't going to be playing football and because the they know how, <laughs> know how bad it is for your brain. <laughs> right, right, right. We want another option, a non-CTE option. Well, uh, we're about to hit Brian Deeb's uh, 1030 class here at the 10 Planet Nogi Training Camp Summit, whatever the name is. Um, and these two CTE guys are about to sign out <laughs> and go see if we can pick up some knowledge. Get, get some nuggets, hey, y'all. Thank you, brother. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate yeah, you. Yeah. Hey, uh, what, uh, what do you, uh, social media? Plug me. Uh, yeah, Can I get plug my yourself? plug plugs in real quick? I left my plugs at home, but check me out. Yo, 10 Planet North Dallas on Instagram, 10 Planet North Dallas Facebook, man. Uh, follow us up, comment, we comment back, we like you back, we follow you back, we share uh, jokes, memes, techniques all the time. And then um, check my podcast out, Globe Talk Podcast. You can Instagram it, it's on YouTube, Globe Talk Pod. So, yeah, man, hit me up, say what's up, much love. Powerful. Peace. Looks good. You want to get Apple on real quick? Uh, we got, you got it. She's right here. Minutes. All right, all right, yeah, put Apple on. Yeah, we'll get in there quick. Apple, we got two minutes. We good. Nice. Or we got five minutes. You guys long as we need. All right, hurry. Apple, up, how are you doing at the 10th Planet yeah. training camp? Yeah. Are you enjoying it? I'm doing it. I don't, man. No, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Other fighters, teachers, or just like. No, we don't. I was going to say, I'm slacking on my first team. I'm going to get my first team. She's not slacking on her. Still, like, you kind of tired of them? If you want some more, you want to give them a fight? Yeah. 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 What they learned from their own competitions, right? Now, how long have you been training? About four years. Four years. And how many how many gold medals do you have in your room? <laughs> you don't know? Dad, how many gold medals you got? Man. Who knows, right? Yeah, we don't know. We, man, we ain't counting anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't counting anymore, you said. 
Hey, how how do you feel like jujitsu's helped you? How old are you now? Ten. Ten. Weren't you just nine? Did you just have a birthday? Yeah. When was it? April 21st. April 21st. All right. So you, you turned. Well, I would say happy birthday. I mean, the whole year. Happy birthday. Uh, but how how do you feel like jujitsu's helped you? Do you, did you play any other sports before you did too? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> you were just chilling? Yeah. Well, we were, we were boxing. Now I'm boxing. You're boxing now. Are you, are you going to be an MMA fighter one day? Yeah, that's what I'm trying. Whoa. You, you got two future MMA fighters over at 10th Planet Antonio, San Antonio. We got Austin over here too, here hanging out. And then, um, what uh, what um, do you feel like? What are your goals as a martial artist? First, I wanna be like Ghost Gundam, go to the Quintana. She's like, how old is she? She's like, I don't even know. She might be thirteen or fourteen. Yeah, I wanna be like her and go to the Quintana. She's really Is she one of your heroes in Jiu-Jitsu? She's a female that's like ten times as good. And um, I wanna be competing like that when I'm here. Yeah. And you've already had the UFC and Dana White and Joe Rogan and a bunch of people retweet your, uh, what were they, arm bars? Of, you're making some boys cry. Do you want to tell us about that? Where, where, where was that? That was at San Antonio. Submission Challenge, I believe. And um, I made those two whisper and I like. I'm, I'm, my special piece arm bars, so yeah. I know. And when I saw, like, and I got the armbar, I knew I was going to tap him, and then they tapped him, and then I just started crying. Like, don't make me cry. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> dude, um, what did it feel like when all those people were giving you love? Oh, no, I was going to tell you a doctor before I was like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm I think, um, I want people to do that, I'm like, that's crazy, like, you don't get that, like, that's not normal. No. That's not normal at all for people to say, like, they don't like to be the post, like, everyone. No. Especially not at a time nine-year-old. Yeah, no, that's, like, really weird, weird. And I've got, like, these famous people just reaching out, that's crazy. How many people do you think saw that? I mean, it's probably like but like millions, right? Yeah, millions. Mean, that's like crazy. A lot of people loved it, but some people hated it. I feel like people, but a lot of people loved it, and that's what I like. Yeah, I like spreading people. Um, you know, a female could do this, and not the girls. Yeah, so, I feel you. That's crazy. I definitely hear you on that. How, um, what, and you've already kind of talked about it. What do you feel like your game is? What are your strengths? Oh well, I got one more question for you. Who do you think is gonna win tonight? Cowboy Cerrone or Justin Gaethje? Cowboy Cerrone. You think Cowboy gonna win? Yeah. All right. Good. We are signing off. Tell everyone where where to find you. We're about we're about to go hit another session of the Tenth Planet Austin uh, Texas No Gi Training Camp. And we are about to see Brian Dees from 10th Planet Beaumont. And what? where can they find you? You can find me at 10th Planet San Antonio. Um, yeah. where, where, what's your social media? Uh, Apollonia, Lion Warrior, um, Mutual, and all that and stuff. So, on Instagram, right? On Instagram. Yeah. If you guys want to see a girl beat up some boys, go <laughs> check out her Instagram. We're signing out here at 10th Planet, and we will talk to you all later. Thank you for coming on. Perfect.